And welcome back guys. So today we'll be showing you how to make the farm base. Now this is all made in survival currently. So just so that people are on the same page. I've already put up the six wind turbines. They need to be up uh, five door um, thingies. You know, yeah, you get to try and do. These little door uh, frames you need to be five up and standing on top of there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set up some of the electrical. Uh, I've already got basically what I need on these uh, root combiners. So basically, you're going to put on the two wood turbines up there, you're going to put that power into one source, which is a root combiner. There's one there. And then there's this one over here for those two wooden turbines. And then for the wind turbine up there and there, it's right there. So let's go ahead and start plumbing this. So we're going to need a wire pump here. We're going to need one here. All right, so that's for this unit by itself. Then over here, we're going to need a pump system for this. So I'm going to put it right here, right there. The, the team's literally screwing around while I was off oh, doing something. Building random bases while I was gone. I'm like, dude, you're wasting resources. Stop it. Pretty much. So now, I gotta figure out the best places for this. I think I have deep enough water over in this corner, so I'm gonna put this one here. And this one here. And I'm gonna put this one here, because I'm gonna put water pumps in the back there. Alrighty. So now we need to get the electrical stuff done. So let's get this out. We'll put our pumps in last. So you're going to need an 8x8 foundation. So let me just get a hammer out and show that you that this is an 8x8. You're going to want to set this one specifically up for a room where you can spawn in real quick. Grab a kit if you're being raided. So you're going to go out 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, width-wise. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, both ways, until you have a giant square. All right, after you have that up, put these window things on the second foundation over. These are Esther rooms to store seeds and food and that kind of stuff. The farm base should only be for food, so when a raider breaks in, and they're surprised... Oh, there's no loot in here. The only thing that's good in here is clones. Also, I am loving the new uh, wires in this update. Alrighty, so we've got our power going into this one. It's getting 121 power, which is good. So now, we're going to go ahead and get a bunch of these. So while I wait for that, I'm going to put these pumps in the water.
Okay, I guess I'm putting on the back here then. Yeah, it can be fussy like that sometimes. It's all good. So you're going to need uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine pumps. Yeah, that's a lot of freaking pumps. So I'm going to go ahead and start plumbing the primary line here. The water. Going back and forth. But yeah, you do a bunch of this back and forth. I'm just setting up one set of pumps so you guys get an idea of what I have to do multiple times just to get this all working. Alrighty, we have water finally. So now this can now come all the way down here and go into there. Now we need to set power for that. So, let's do that. So each one of these lovely pumps takes five power. Also take into consideration that these take one power. Very important. So wire it like that, wire it like this, and this. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take this lovely purple wire. And I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm just going to connect it to that. Now this is all going to light up. I'm then going to use the aqua blue wire to hopefully have enough wire to connect all these lovely pumps to our network of pumping. Pump it up, pump it up. Hopefully I can squeeze up enough power in that system there to turn lights off and on. But if not, then I can always reroute it to a different battery.
And of course it's becoming night time. I think I'm going to plug in some temporary lighting so I can see what I'm doing. And then the purifier here takes approximately five power as well. So we'll do this in yellow. In the corner that we can do the best. And now we should have water coming in. There we go. Now, just for temporary lighting purposes, I'm going to put a light switch in. I can always pull this up later. Oh, thank goodness I can see. So just in this utility area, I'm going to use my fancy dancy lights here. Doing this at night's quite annoying. Especially when you got the group over there shooting their guns. Alrighty. 
I just need enough to see the lights. It's not supposed to be super snazzy or anything. All right. One, two, three, four. I'm guessing eight. Yep. So we're only using five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-eight power out of this unit right now. All right. So now we need to set up the pumps. So we need a way to get wire out of this into this pump that's going to bring it in there. Should be relatively very simple. Take this lovely red little pipe here. Go all the way into the corner the best way you can. And we're going to go here. So, go out here. I don't like the way I wired that. Or plumbed it. And go like that. Alrighty. So these take five power. Uh, wait a minute, please. I thought they took five power. No, it takes one. This will be the output, which, when this is hooked up, it will bring water from here and pump it in there. So, I'm going to use the red wire, come down like this, and I'm just going to plug it into this one. And we'll now force the wire from the container into here, from here. I'm just going to drink some of that wire right now because I'm dehydrated. Alrighty, so we've got our first pump online. Still got 64 power to play with. Alrighty. So we're bringing the red line up here. And this is going to be for your sprinklers. Make four of these real quick. Oh my goodness, I'm getting sneezed to say what the hell. Wow, that moment when you tell a teammate, hey, why are you wasting resources on another farm base when this one's being built? And then they rage because they didn't get what they want. It's pretty sad if you ask me. They, they couldn't give me a good reason of why they were making the other farm base when we have this one, you know. Just kind of looked at them like, dude, what the fuck? Anyway, back to making this base. So... I like to go in the middle of each one of these squares and put a lovely sprinkler up. Alrighty. 
So we got our sprinklers up. I'm going to use blue for this one. At some point you will max out the ability to put more sprinklers out and that's when you have uh, these other systems plugged in and working. Probably going to move this one. Put it there. I'm going to go in here. We're doing a green. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to put this back where it was. I thought it might not reach. Uh, it's reaching pretty good, so I'm just like, eh. Why fix it if it's not broken? Trying to make this quick, we have had people in this area being just toxic. Please remember this video will not be released until next wipe. So, where you currently see us? Mm. Damn. I didn't do one of these. It would look nicer. And that shopper, great! As you can see, it's only a tangled mess in here. We still have to power up this system, get that system online. <laughs> Looks like we have bad guys outside shooting our teammates. We're gonna go here. Let's go go in there. And this one needs to go up. And into there. So 
So I'm doing, just doing the electrical right and the water. I'll put the new pumps in eventually. Like, you get the idea. I'm going to move the pump lines around. Right now, this doesn't seem like a safe place to go out there right now. Alright, let me get this sorted out, because we weren't able to get the wires where we wanted it to, so I kind of have to improvise just a little bit. We're going to there now. All right, I had to do some slight improv improvising. But we're good now. Guess I'm doing one of these boxes. Usually I like to have it flat across, but I had to pull up the battery, and I can't exactly just... Hmm. Guess I could. Alright, so, you would put your TC in the back corner there, I'm obviously not showing it, uh, if you guys were wondering where the TC went, just make it 8x8, put your tool cap in the back corner as best you can, I mean, So I need it for 
for the pumping station. I'm going to put the pumping station over here instead. So this way it's out of the way. And it's still in the way. This power system is going to be for here. This power system is for this. Oh, we're both on the same page now. Okay, this one. Bring it right over here. Plug that directly in. May have to move my pumps to the back here. Okay, this is powered finally. Now we need to do all the water bullshit. Right up here, you're up there. That's where the water's gonna go out of. These are going to be for the pumps. Still got to hook up. All right. I might just move the pumps, honestly.
The problem with this base design is you can get easily confused. So, it's one of the lovely things about this base. You can get easily confused of where you are on the base. Sorry, I'm getting confused, guys. So entryways this way. I mean, all the pumps back here. So I'm gonna do a little repump piping real quick. And of course, all right. So I want to intentionally let that system drain out. Takes five, all right. So, the reason I cut power to that, for those that are wondering, is I'm going to let those pumps drain and I'm going to move them. This way I don't have to hear the pumps running next to the TC room. So, if you're wondering why I just did that, and I'm going to make this system suck the water out of those pumps that currently have water in it. Pretty much. Now that I have the pumps here, the back corner, it should make it a lot easier to plummet. Around the base we go again. Da da da. Usually it's better organized than this, but you get the general idea of what I'm doing here. I'm re-pump... Repairing the pumps with hoses at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
na 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 Look at this nightmare of wiring. Alright, the next one I'll do is blue. Yeah, it's getting How's there. It going? It's getting there. Setting up the wires. What's come come, come see my electrical nightmare. For day. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Man, what is this? Welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> right? This thing does not look right. Why are <laughs> so many different colors? Uh, each one does something different. Well, I guess good luck, man. <laughs> it's so friendly, this area. Alright, I got them all set up. So we'll do red for these ones. More purification. That one needs five. That one needs five. This one needs two. Now it's not my best wire job, but it works. And that's all I really care about. You guys could do a better electrical job than mine for making it all nice. Uh, you see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to make it look good. Might yeah. be a landmine someone placed. I'll probably go back at some point and redo logical, but just to make it look nicer. This green line is going into here. there. Good. Means when we hook up our pump for here, it will automatically produce water. Which is good. Alrighty. So you ask, hmm, where are all the lights going to be? Well, it's going to be on this switch here. Most of them. And if you don't have enough power on that switch, you can always change it up. So that's where the smart switch comes into place. 
patch around this system here. Come down, put that smart switch on, and we'll do this. Probably reposition these lights. I kind of like it the way I have it now. But yeah, this is what will be how you turn your farm lights on and off by smart switch. It just makes it easier. So this wire will now, once it gets put into there from here, get sucked in, right over here. Yeah, it's it's complicated, guys. You're basically repeating the step down here, except not adding lights to it over and over and over again, basically. And you just put empty farm lights on the same thing. It's not that hard. I'm going to finish plumbing this up. What I'm showing you guys right now is how to wire up this, but I'm also trying to do it in survival, which is vastly more difficult because you're constantly worrying about people trying to shoot at you. Right now we're very lucky because there's no one trying to shoot at us. <laughs> I tried finding sandbox servers to show you how to do this farm base for all the wiring and electrical, but for some reason, they don't allow you to, you know, do like plumbing. So I couldn't actually show how to build this on one of those servers. Otherwise I would have. 
Now that we got the electrical, we got the electrical done for the pumps there. Moving on. So it is very simple to set up this farm. It just takes a lot of time setting up the electrical. We want five there. Oops. We want five there. The systems now produce some water. Good. And like with this system down here, all I have to do is physically plug in the old pumps that are sucking out water from the roof right now. Fro ceiling lights up, which I'll go do real quick. And like I said, you can always put TC on this side and have the utility room that way. Like, there's all kinds of different configurations you guys can do. It's not just one config that you're stuck to. to try to put the light as close as I can in the middle. Go over here. And do it like right there. And I'm just going to branch off of this light here. I'm going to run it all the way back as far as I can. To that here. plug it in. And you just keep doing that until you run out of power on that line and then you grab power from some of these if you have to. Pretty much. It's very simple guys how to do this farm and set it up to power, huh? Thank you. 9, 10. That's going to be 12 power. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Just turn this on and... Yeah. Wait, actually, for that system down there, it's down here. But yeah, that's how you get a working farm. Now think about this for a second. I've got to do that. i got to put planter planters and all of this. Put sprinklers throughout all this and lights. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video regarding how to set up a farm was helpful. If you're not used to the purifiers, then you won't need that. All you have to do is hook up the pumps. But if you're doing a big farm base like this one, an 8x8, you're definitely going to have to go through all this crap. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.